In this demo, we are going to explore some of the security features of Google Workspace for Education Standard and Plus, which can help you manage sensitive data and prevent data leaks. To help ensure the privacy and security of your data, and to make it easier for users to share appropriately, you can create target audiences. Target audiences provide users with another way to share their files, in addition to link sharing with your entire organization or sharing directly with users or groups. To get started, in the Admin Console, go to Directory, Target Audiences, and click Create a Target Audience. Enter a name for your target audience and, optionally, a description. For example, let's create a target audience for the faculty at Google School. We'll enter Google Professors as the name and click Create. Next, we'll click Add Members, Add Members again, search for and select the name of our previously created Google Professors group and click Add. You can add any type of group to your target audience, including dynamic groups, another feature of Education Standard and Plus, which allows you to create groups based on dynamic attributes. Now that we've created our target audience and added members, we can add the audience to Drive Sharing by clicking Apply to Google Service, Drive, and Docs. Next, search for and select the Google Professors group. Then, scroll down to Target Audiences. Click the Edit icon, Add Target Audiences, Select the Google Professors audience and click Save. In this case, we'll change the order of our audiences and finally save them. Now, when any members of the Google Professors turn on link sharing for their drive files, by default, they'll be sharing with other members of the Google Professors group as opposed to everyone at the school. Next, because our Google Professors often work with sensitive data, Let's use context-aware access policies to ensure they only access their Google Drive files while on the Google campus. First, from the Admin Console homepage, go to Security, Context-Aware Access. Next, verify that Context-Aware Access is turned on for everyone. From there, click on Access Levels, Create Access Level. Let's enter a name for the access level. Then add an attribute of IP subnet is the IP subnet of the Google campus. From there, click Save, then click Assign Access Level. Next, search for and select the group or organizational unit to which you want to assign the policy. Select the workspace apps you want to assign and click Assign. Next, select the access level you created previously and click Save. Finally, you can customize the error message that users see if they can't access apps because they don't meet the requirements. Finally, let's choose a geographic location for our Google Professor's data by going to Account Settings, then scroll down to Data Regions. First, select the group or organization unit to which you want to apply the Data Regions policy. Next, select your location preference and click Save. From here, you can view the progress of the data move into your preferred region by going to Reporting, Data Regions. For best practices when using target audiences, context-aware access, and data regions, and for additional steps you can take to manage sensitive data, such as using data loss prevention, drive labels, and client-side encryption, please review the checklist in the Resources section.